everybody, welcome back. This is Stinker77. We're back on the Q-Tech world. And today I've got a project that I hope that we can get through in one episode. You see, we have a little bit of a problem here, and it is this, okay? We have the Digital Miner, and it's working great, and you can see it's got a lot of different things here. But we have to then take those things and manually put them into here to get them doubled, and then put it in here to make them into what we need. And so what we're going to work on today is trying to get that more automated. So I want to make up some things here first. And I think we're gonna start with some uh, chests. I think we're gonna make up some iron chests. Um, we could probably make up some gold ones even. I don't know if we have enough diamonds for diamond chests. Um, I'm thinking maybe we have two or three is what I'm looking at. So maybe we'll do gold ones. They're slightly larger than the other ones. Let's see if I can find my chests. I thought I had more chests here. Do you guys see there's two chests? Um, That'll work, but I would like to have three. So let's start with three chests. Okay, we have that. And then you take iron around those, and it makes iron chests. And if you take gold around those, um, you get gold chests. And they have slightly different uh, storage abilities, okay? So that'll work for that. Now, the other things we're going to need is we're going to need some a couple of things to move items around. So let's uh, go to sleep here for a second. We're gonna get some item uh, conduits or cables or something like that. We're also going to need power cables. We're also going to need um, some um, way to sort or filters. So and I guess I do have two of these. This was something that a comment came in. Yeah, I had two of those. So thank you for commenting on that. <laughs> okay, so let's go on here. Now I've been thinking about this. This is gonna be with mechanism. And with mechanism, we would need, I can think of like two of the sorters here, these these things here. So let's make a couple of these. You can see we're gonna need iron. We're gonna need the basic control circuit, which is just osmium and redstone. So let's get a couple of those. There's some osmium and some redstone. And uh, we have already redstone in there. Good, let's just do a couple of these. Let's do four of those. And let's also start this iron working here so that we can get that kind of, I think we're gonna need a lot of iron. Wow, it's just awful noisy. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to make some pistons here in just a second. Let me get one more of these. And you can see it's making the iron dust, which then is going over into here. It's all just kind of like a big machine that we're doing. That's refined iron. See, I'm low on iron here. And that's gonna be a problem. Let's find some cobble. And let's make a couple of pistons. So we're gonna make this first, so let's make two of these. And then we'll make two of these, I hope, which we don't even have the iron for yet. It, that's just the, the way it goes here. Good thing we have the digital miner now. Okay, so we're gonna make one of these. <laughs> and there we go. The other thing we're gonna make is we're gonna make these, um, okay, there's some lag. We're gonna make some cables and, or there's mechanical pipes. I think that's fluid and pressurized. I think that's gases. And I think this is what we need right here. The basic logistical transporter. And again, it, it takes that and just takes steel. And do we have any steel? We have some steel here. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Let's make the logistical sorter. We have two of those and it doesn't stack. And we need a logistical transporter. There, we've got 16 pipes. That's pretty good. The other thing I found is we do need a thing called a configurator. And this is two of those, redstone stick and a tablet. So I think we have some of those too. I know we got sticks and we have redstone. And I know we have three of these. Really? We just have three? Okay, so to make more of those, it takes iron. All right. We're getting there, guys. Let's put this in here. So, let's make this, come on. There it is, okay. We are again, we're making the configurator. Does it need to have energy? I guess it does. Gold. And I don't know how we're gonna give it energy. I gotta figure that part out too here. Lapis. Okay, so it's got some 
stored energy we need to give it some energy unless it, you can use it without energy and that i don't know yet okay so let's go on out here and i want to show you what i think is going to go on okay so we have this thing is still producing stuff but this inventory is going to get full and i want to output that out of the back here into a chest so let's just look at this chest here as being like a buffer for that system okay and i could just put the chest directly there but it's kind of cool to see this thing working so i'm going to put one pipe here and there it is you can see it's kind of flowing items in that looks so cool doesn't it i think that looks really cool i'm going to take a drink just because of that mm. all right so everything kind of flows in there you can see we got a lot of extra storage now i really want the things that are these ores to go into let's say a a way to do the enrichment chamber and the rest of it i want to go someplace else and this is the first part of this puzzle that we're going to do so i'm going to have a pipe come out and i'm going to have to have it divided in different directions here so i'll have one going this way and one going this way and let's have this be like the final output maybe <laughs> okay so we'll put a chest here and it's hooked up to there and now this is where the configurator, if it works, will do what I need to do. You can color code these pipes. And I think I can just see it says there's no color and I can make it a different color. So I can make the output always be blue. You see, it's got like a blue shade to it. Okay. And we're going to make this be where I'm going to have maybe a, the enrichment chamber that we're going to be using. So let me uh, get some power to it. Or I could put another chest here as a buffer yeah because it kind of slows it down let's do that okay and we're gonna have um you know what this is not gonna work out the way i'm doing it let's do something a little bit different here no tool but it's really slow okay what we want to do is we want to have coming off of here I'm taking off this one too this one's still blue we want to have a way of having this be sorted and we're going to do it this way okay so we're going to use the logistical sorter it looks like a little i don't know kind of like a little pipe with some grooves on it. it's kind of cool and we're going to hook up this to it okay now this thing has the idea is that you can tell it what you want to do so we're going to make a filter here and we're going to say anything with or okay we'll check it it's stored it there i'm going to say i don't want to go to blue i want to go to green the green pipe okay everything else I guess we have it go to like you know what let's stage it to blue and make default no default from this thing is blue but otherwise go to green so we're giving it a definite path we're not just using a default color blue was anything but if it's an or go through to green okay and that's what the first step so let's do this here we're going to put a pipe here and we're going to put another chest okay interesting that's not what I want because it's going to default. And that probably is unloading everything. Only ores are going there, I guess. So let me make sure I can configure that to green. It's weird. I said default is blue. And it's going to green. And I guess that's defaulting to green. But if you notice, it took all the ores here. And all the rest of the stuff is there. But why didn't it go into that one? Auto ejects. There we go. And see, that's wrong. That shouldn't be. So let's put this back to green there we go that's correct so the blue lines are going that way green is going here so if i take these items out that we just put in here and put them back here we got some of the lapis and some of these here that we found from our uh doing things you can see it's going the right place it makes sounds that's okay but in essence right here the, the big thing that we've solved is we have sorted this into ores which need to have the the mechanism to work and we've sorted these okay now i could just go right into from here and go right into this with um the uh whatchamacallit the enrichment chamber and that may be what we do and use this as a storage i just was worried that this would get uh, filled up but you know what that's okay you can see things go in here and it's immediately ejecting so whatever this finds it's just automatically working um let's get some more power cables and let's move the enrichment chamber over there okay so do we have any more there's <laughs> one this is a basic energy pipe so let's make some more of this it takes iron it takes redstone and glass um iron and a redstone block
Did I not get the rest? Oh. Derp. I derped. Okay. And there is some more of the pipe. Okay. Excellent. Let's go back out here and let's take this with us. Okay. Wow, I got a lot of dust. Let's let's uh get that cooking up. We're gonna need more iron for sure. Okay. So we have the enrichment chamber, which is what we use to uh, get the dust. Okay. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna just take the stuff out right here real quick. I know I made a mess. We'll pick that up in a second. And we're gonna run the enrichment chamber. Let's put it right here. And we're gonna run a power line from there over. Okay. So it should have power. And it should be ready to go. So now we just got to tell it what to do. Let's put this stuff in here. Okay, we're picking up the ores. We don't care because it will go in the right place in just a second, not cobblestone. Um, actually, it's sorted the cobblestone out already, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's get this all cleaned up. Right. So now we're looking at this thing, and it's like, hey, I need to do something with whatever I'm working with, okay? So let's have it go onto the sides. We're going to say that the right side here, because this is where we're coming in, is an input. Okay, and all of a sudden it says, oh, you want me to do something? Great. So now, as this thing finishes, these it goes into those blue slots. We need to have a blue output. Okay, so, and as it, if it finishes up and gets the stack done, more will be fed into it. Okay, so that's good. So now we have to figure out how to make ingots. And I was looking at this, and this is part of a problem. If you go to the, um, let's say the iron ingot. Okay, you would think that you could use something like a smelter, but it doesn't have one. You has... You can craft it with either making blocks or nuggets, which are very vanilla. If you had a furnace, you can use dirty iron dust. That's it. Or you can use like the energized smelter if you had this. But we're not getting that kind of a dust. We are getting this kind of dust, iron dust. And then we could only use a blast furnace and an electric furnace. Okay? So we need to fix that. And we also need to sleep again. So we're going to get an electric furnace, and that's the next thing that we have to build here. Okay, so we're going to go to sleep again. We're going to go take a look for an electric furnace. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at that. That's what we need to have to make the stuff into ingots. An electric furnace has all of this. Now, this looks kind of complicated, but I hope it's not. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to make an alloy machine frame. That's probably the biggest one right now. We're going to have some some of those. we got to make some redstone alloy. Okay. We can do that, and this thing is more redstone alloy, so it looks like we have to have three there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's this take? 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 redstone alloy, and to make that, we need to have 13 of this, which is lots of redstone and iron, like 13 iron. Okay. And, of course, we have 12 iron. Okay, so let's uh, go into here, 13 of that, and let's make a bunch and it's going to go to town for us. We'll probably have to get some more redstone over here. And of course we have some basically in that box. And this machine is just going to town. It's doing the work for us. And that's what I've been trying to get to here. So this might take a little bit. I wish this was faster. Because we have to take those 13 and then make like <laughs> some more of this to make the redstone. Okay, let's make the other things that we need here for this. We know we need iron. That's great. We can't do much here. We Except for we need to make two green circuits. Okay. And one of those. And we need to have... There isn't any there. None there. Okay, so we make two greens and a red, huh? Okay, so we got the two reds. And we just put in two osmium. And we'll get the two greens. Okay, that works out. A stone frame. We need a blue. And a blue is a red and two of those. I know we've got those. And the red one is a green with two of those, huh? Okay, so we need to make some more of those. We have to wait for this. See, we're doing all this, like, rabbit hole stuff, but once we get this machine, we'll be able to do what we need to get this whole thing done. Let's make one more of those. We can make this system so that we automatically will do everything we need with getting things into ingots. We won't have to worry about it. See, this just finished, right? Okay, I'll take this out. It says, oh, that emptied out. We'll give you some more stuff. It's kind of cool. That's already doing sorting for us. Dumping things like that over here and sorting that out over there. That's just very cool. I, I, I'm already pleased by how far uh, we've come with that. And, and that's cool. Okay. Over here we have 50 redstone. Let's make five of those. Why not? 
Okay, so we need to make the red one, right? It's basically one of those. There's a red one, and then the elite one is takes um, these, doesn't it? Don't we have to make that with that? There's a blue one. Okay. And we need smooth stone and it looks like glass. Hopefully it's glass, glass. Smooth stone, we have that. Um, I have glass on me. We need the cobble that's out here. I don't have a lot of cobble. <clears throat> okay, here we go. We'll make that piece. Looking for the copper piece that we had. I don't see it at all. I'm looking for the piece that we make for this, the copper coil. Um, I thought we had one of those pre-made already, but I don't see it yet, so we'll have to look at that in just a second here. Okay, we have that. So we're back to... I really need to bookmark this. Let's just bookmark it. I don't know why these are bookmarked. That's really odd. Okay. Uh, we're going to need more smooth stone than that, too. Okay, that'll be for the frame. We're trying to make the frame. So... This frame, we're needing sapphire glass, sapphire glass. Again, it's in the alloy smelter. It's four glass and a sapphire. Okay, so we've got that. This thing is just going as fast as it can go. Unfortunately, not very fast. <laughs> not fast enough, is it? anyway. But uh, it's trying. And meanwhile, this thing just makes those little scissor sounds. And you can see it's got 8,260 different things to mine, so you know it's gonna be doing this for quite a while. Have we seen any copper? Do we get copper yet? Because you know we always run out of copper. Sort it there. I don't see any copper yet, but you never know. Uh, hopefully it'll get some, but it'll get diamonds and it'll get redstone and everything like that. Come on, I need this thing to work. I need another alloy smelter. Bottlenecks, guys. There are bottlenecks every day. It seems like. Ugh. I don't even know if we're gonna get this done in this time. I'm hopefully so. I thought maybe we could, but it's not looking like it so far. And again, this is done. So the, it's, you know, it can't do much else with this because this is zinc. And why can't it work? Does this give out a lot every time it does a zinc? I don't know. That's really weird. Okay. Well, I want to get rid of some of these dusts here because I don't really need to hold on to these right now. I can do those a little bit later. Okay, this has made 13 of those. We needed four glass and we needed a sapphire. Let's get that working. And then we're going to make the, the red uh, stone thing in just a second here. Okay, so we are slowly getting these pieces done. Uh, put that in there. Make two more of those. I need glass. And uh, there we go. Now we take these and we're going to take the redstone and it's going to make the uh, redstone alloy ingots that we need. Okay. So there is the stone frame. And now we need four of those. It looks like we need structural glass. And what is structural glass? It's glass with steel around it. And uh, yeah, we're out of steel. It figures. It's always something, isn't it? Now, do I have any coal dust? Because we're going to need coal to make steel. So let's, um... Uh, let's make eight of that. And it's not the osmium compressor. It is the crusher. Because we're going to be putting it into, uh... Here. This thing is the bottleneck right now. The alloy smelter. Okay. But we can get some of these pieces here and make things that we need. Like, we'll get three of these. We can probably make another piece of this puzzle. Um, as we go, so that we'll hopefully have it all done uh, soon. <laughs> okay, we have three. I think something needed three. Didn't something need three? Like this thing, the circuit board. Did that need three? There we have the circuit board. Okay, iron. We got all that, right? Yeah, we've got the iron. Okay, let's put some more of this in here. Do I have any more of this dust? Like, um, did I have nothing in there? There's tin. I don't really need tin as much as or silver, even. I really don't need any of it. Let's just get some gold. That's probably the most necessary. Let's get that going. Okay. So, and we have these. 
We have all of this. We need two more things and this thing here, which is a copper. Um, it takes these fine copper wires, which is copper and that, and I've seen that before and we do have some copper. So, uh, where is that device? There it is. Okay. We got that done. We need iron bars. And I don't see any iron bars, so we'll make some iron bars. Okay. And there's that piece. I just need four of those ingots to make that. Okay. And it's almost done with that. This is done crushing. Excellent. Okay. So we're slowly getting our pieces here needed for this. That's not what I needed. I mean, it is what I needed, but not where I needed it. How about that? And that makes two. That's good. Okay. So we got this, this. We have these two. We will have these here. We do. So we're just missing, really, um, this, which is structural glass. is the big one. And that's steel. So we need basically to make that as soon as this thing gets done. But we can't do anything with that until it does get done. So, guys, we're just waiting around here. I'm going to make this video go a little longer because I think we're going to have some fun with this. Now, right here, we are going to have to do a choice, okay? Because this will output mostly dust, but there is a way that it may put in something else, okay? So we're going to run this line uh, out of this. Where's my structural or the logistical sorter? Okay, it's going to come out of here. And I want basically anything that says um, dust, Okay. We'll check it. It's going to say, okay. Did not do anything there. I don't see it. Maybe it's just dust. Okay. There's some dust. It's got a bunch of different things. Is it not rotating? Is it saw? That's saw dust. Okay. So I want anything that has space DUST. Is that it? No, I'm doing this not correctly. There's no tag filter. I did this in my test world. It has to do with getting it with dust. It's like, let's see here. Let's, let's, um, like if it's iron, like dust, if we look at these dusts here, let's go look at that real quick. See, it's like zinc space dust. So anything that has dust. Dust, dust. Wow, it is uh, not item stack. It's material, maybe. No, it's not a material one. It's definitely a tag. No. Yeah, I would think it would be a tag. But anyway, we're gonna have two choices here for this. Where this is gonna go? One is gonna go into the tool, and then one line is gonna come out from there. Let's say here and go into here, okay? And again, this is gonna be blue. Let's configure this so it looks right. So we know blue is like the regular old output. You can see it's blue. It's getting dark, I'm gonna go sleep again. But that's the idea that we're trying to do here, guys. Um, hey, I got those six, good. Let's make up some uh, of this, which will be steel. Okay, almost there. It's uh, it's a little slow, and I do apologize. We, you know, we're waiting on, like I said, waiting on the bottlenecks here. So, um, we just need to get that built. We need the structural glass. So, hopefully, this will get some steel for us. We gotta get four pieces of steel. So, it's gonna be have to wait for a second here. We're gonna run the power line over to, I think, to here. Oh, or maybe not. Depends on how far we can get it. Um, and we're going to have to do hook up here, I think. I think we can do that. Okay. We got two steel. Need just some more steel. We're almost there. God, like this takes forever. It'll be so nice once we have like all this stuff. We can get this all automated and go quicker. Okay. We have that. Let's go here. We need to make the structural glass. There we go, and then that makes that piece, and then that is the electric furnace. And that is awesome, because when we run this over here, it will should work pretty nicely. Okay, so let's put this right here, 
And we're going to put a, another piece here. And we're going to say that this is blue, you remember? So we're going to talk about this being green. No, 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 I'm not changing the type. Oh, it did that. This thing's a little finicky about where you place um, place the uh, configurator. I'm going to make this green. Okay, that's green right there. So now, this is, takes an input here of items, and this is going to go output, and we're going to say that this is going to go, default is to, um, just like this one over here, default was blue. So we're going to go to, oh, come on, blue, and we're going to go, this one should go to green. Now we're back over to this device here. We don't need to configure it, but we just look at the output, and we want, this is not an output at all. We don't care about those. This one should be output and auto eject on. And it should be ejecting right now, but I think maybe this is causing an issue right here because it's all green and it can't do it. So let me have to move this out of the way. We're going to make another, another power cable to go a little bit further. Small steps, guys, small steps. Okay. We need to get one of those, what do they call it? Energy cables, basic energy or something. Yes. A piece of redstone block. There we go. And six more pipes. And we got some seeds. Awesome. I really need you to make some food and some farming. Okay. And we'll put this right here. Now, let's get this down. Let's see if we can get this to work. Okay. So, pipes here. And we want this even to be green. Okay. Green and blue. That should work. And this should be auto ejecting. Auto ejecting. Blue is output. Auto eject is on. So it should be coming out here and going into here. Now, why isn't it? And this is one of those things where I get confused on, on why. Because this, you would think, would be going right away. Like, let me go in here and delete this filter. See, it's not. This is set up very similar to what it's supposed to do. Filters, auto eject. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Auto ejecting. Auto eject is on. Now that put the dust the wrong way. We will fix that because that's we took that filter out. Let me put the filter in here. Tag. We want anything with dust to go to green. Save. Now let's see if it does it here. We got this one's being done. This should make platinum dust, and you would think it would go this way. And it doesn't. So I've got something wrong with my filter here. Um, this is the star dust. Now let's look at this next one. We're trying to configure this to go the other way. No. What did I do wrong? Okay, so let's look at the filters here. It's not really a material. It's not a mod ID or an item stack. It is a tag. And it's definitely dust. That's how I did filtered it in my test world. You know what? I'm going to go look at my test world. I did all this before. Let's go look at it really quick, okay? We're going to jump out. You're going to see some of the behind the scenes that I do here, okay? Test world. See? I got a test world. And I did this, and I've got my configuration. I just don't remember what I did. So we're going to load this up. This is, this is me showing you how this works. This is what happens when you don't have any cuts in your videos, guys. I don't know. That looked really weird, didn't it? Okay, so I have the fixed filter here. It's coming out of the machine, and I have... It's a tag filter. Star, dust, star. Tag filter, star, lowercase, dust, star. Okay. That's, that's easy, right? We can do that. Tag, filter, star, dust, star, lowercase. Okay, let's go back into our world. <laughs> I don't know why that wasn't working, though. Something else then is configured wrong. I don't know, but we can do this pretty quick. Joining world. Okay. Come on. Give me control. There we go. So here we want in, this is going to green and we want this to say star dust star tag filter, right? And this is allow default. Let's just hit save. There it goes. So it should be putting it out to green and it does right there. And this device says, hey, we're working on stuff. And there we go. 
And then that stuff then should automatically be pulled out. Oop, not there. And sent over this way. Okay. But it's not being pulled out yet. You can see it's still there. So what we do is take the configurator, point it right to that thing right there, and then we put it into pull mode. Okay. So this should be pulling from here. And why isn't it? Is there like a side configurator here? I don't think so. This should be pulling out. Um, and we have to color it blue. There it goes. So all those iron ingots and things are colored blue, which means they go from blue to blue, which means they're all going over here. So all of a sudden now we have all of this. See, we have these from before because we were testing. But in essence, this system is now doing what I needed to do. Now there's some small tweaks we have to do, like uh, if redstone gets in here or uh, some other things. But for the most part, it's working. So now we have all of the resources being divided up and taken care of correctly. How did I get oak logs? Did I do that? I might have done that. I probably did that. <laughs> so I think this is pretty cool, guys. What do you guys think? I Hopefully you like this. This is kind of a neat little system off of that digital miner. And uh, we'll have resources forever in here. I just gotta get uh, this dust out that we don't need and the logs. This is all the stuff we've been getting from this system. Coal for days, okay? What do you think, guys? I think it looks pretty cool. I sure hope you like this. It's a little bit longer, a little bit like 30 minutes, it says here. So hopefully uh, you won't mind the uncut, uh, long version of the system. But anyway, I hope you like it. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.